let's take a look at the GPIO board, Light Messenger, and the Light Messenger GPIO board by Lab 401 for the Flipper Zero. This is a persistence of view device. So basically that means kind of like light trails. And I'll show you guys, but you attach this to the Flipper Zero and shake it around and it creates pictures and uh, text and images, things like that. It's super cool. It has 16 LED lights. It, they are the SK6805, they're RGB LEDs. And it has an accelerometer, which I believe is that thing right there, I think. And it's uh, the 12C, looks like the LIS2XX12 accelerometer right there. And if we look at the cool pictures, we've got a pair of eyes to view our 16 RGB LEDs. Then on the back, we got some cool designs. Morris, how data's encrypted, code hashes. Very cool looking on the back. And like I said, this is for the Flipper Zero, so we should probably bring a Flipper Zero out. And you get the app for this on the Flipper the Flipper Lab website. You can go to the website and you can probably do it through your phone too but you can, uh, with the Flipper app, but you can go to the website and just download the app for your phone. So let's take a look at that. So if I go here and I go to apps, GPIO, and then it's right there, Lab 401 Light Messenger. That's the app you want, Lab 401 Light Messenger. And now I can play with it. So I can make my own text. I can use pre-made bitmaps, bitmap images. There's a bitmap editor so I can create my own images. I can tell it how wide I want this to be. It's gonna be 16 pixels by 41 pixels if I want. I can open one that I've created or that is already created. And then there's also configuration. And configuration tells you when you're using the device what color lights or, or program of lights it'll use. And I'll show you that in a little bit too. Bunch of different little options down here. But this is the main one you'll kind of use is this color one. Right? So... You can also do flashlight, which is kind of cool. All right, let's take a look. Oops, went out, let's go back in. So I'll go here, here, and first let's do some text. So if I move this here, the light's gonna go off for a second. Don't turn off the video. And I'll just move this to a spot that you'll be able to see. Let me make sure you can see, you can see. And let's see if this will, oh, whoops. One thing wrong, there we go. Now I swipe. There it is. Hope you can see that. Very cool. So you can see those are the colors, but if I wanted to, I could change the colors. Let's do that. If we go to configuration, and instead of it being rainbow, I just want it to be blue. And then I go back to my text, pen test, ready to swipe. And now it'll just be blue. Just like that. Hope you could see that. And now they also have some pre-made ones. Oops, the flipper crashed. There we go. That happens sometimes with this um, app and I feel like it's because you're swinging it all over the place. So if I go back here and I go to GPIO 
and back in. Let's go back to configuration. We can see I'm on blue still. Let's change it to something a little bit more colorful. There we go, right? And then I decide, okay, I want to do one of these saved cool bitmaps. Let's do this one called email. Now, a lot of people will ask, that's cool. A lot of people will ask, why, why do you, why do you have to shake it a couple times first? And the answer to that is the first three shakes kind of gets, here, let me put it back. The first three shakes you do kind of gets the accelerometer to know what distance you're shaking. So it learns what distance you're shaking and then it will start displaying the image as you shake it. So that's why kind of you, you've got to shake it a couple times before it'll, it'll do anything. Let's go back here. And yeah, that's it. So we've got the Lab 401 Light Messenger for the Flipper Zero. Pretty cool device. Pretty cool little GPIO board for this thing. I dig it.